Hey guys, welcome back. We have a full day of eating with a great crock pot recipe and a fitness workout clothing haul. I mean, it's the best of all the worlds. So if you guys are here for it, please stay tuned. Good morning, my friends. How you doing? Today we got a full day of eating. I hope you guys are doing great. Um, we are getting ready to actually hit the gym I'm really just buckling down. Are you guys here for it? Are you with me? Because these holidays are approaching. October's almost over. Thanksgiving, I need to hit my goals. And I'm just feeling very, like, inspired, I guess. Um, I ordered, like, some... I ordered, like, the Keto Mojo, so that's coming. I'm really just excited. Um, today is going to be day three of the Couch 25K um app like week one day three so i'm really excited for that so today um, i'm gonna have to up my gym days which is okay i'm okay with that um but today we are gonna go ahead and do the 30 minute run and we're also going to do back day with core um so i've been running i've done you know the two days before guys i've been struggling because i've been literally having to hold my chest when i run because it just it was it was all over the place and i'm not like a busty girl like i'm like i guess average um but so i got some new workout clothes and i'm going to share them with you um yeah so let's jump into it i got some leggings and some sports bras which i'm excited because like it's like getting a new outfit and you want to go out it's like i got new gym clothes let me go to the gym i don't know this this is what i live for okay i mean whatever but anyways let me show you okay so the first thing i got was um so i'm working with yvette sports i go ahead i'm gonna leave everything linked down below what i picked up but i got a couple sports bras and some leggings okay so i like the way they come in like these bags so i think that's cool that's cool we're gonna try these out though all right let me open this up okay so these are an extra large those are an extra extra large I always like size up in my leggings. I'd rather my leggings be a little looser than too tight and then they're like sliding down, you know. But they're really soft. They say they're squat proof. We gonna try it. We gonna test that theory. They do seem pretty thick though. They are high waisted, which I always appreciate. So here are those. So these pants come in an extra small, so two X, I guess. Um, high-waisted, like raw fabric, strong elasticity, breathable, and more wear-resistant. We're going to try the squat proof. I'll get dressed and put them on, but this is kind of what they look like. How does the butt look like? Do they have anything on the back? No, these are pretty nice, though. I really like the, the, the feel of them. So, we got those. We all need black workout leggings, okay? All right, here goes another one. I do like these bags that it comes with. Like, you could probably... If you like change at the gym, I would throw these in my gym bag and then put all your sweaty clothes in this and keep it. Okay, here's a sports bra. Okay, so here's one all black. It has the sheer right here, which is very sharp. One day I hope to be like that confident in the gym where I could just like wear a cute sports bra and some high waisted leggings like those really cute girls do. Like that's goals. But I like how low this goes too. They have nice thick cups, so you know, if it gets cold, you don't gotta worry about it. The back is really, really sharp. Um, with these bras, I did read that they have a lot of, they help relieve some of the pressure on your shoulders, which I appreciate because a lot of my sports bras really dig into the top of my shoulders. So here's one of them. And I don't remember the size I got in them. They had you measure. I'm uh, like around 36C cup, so we'll see. I may have ordered a little too big. I don't know. We'll try it on. But this is the specifically, this one specifically for running. So it has a zipper enclosure, which I appreciate because if you've ever been really sweaty trying to get a sports bra off, um, it's, it's ridiculous. It's like a circus. Honestly, you get tangled up and yeah. So, and what I like too, that they said like, these are really padded. You can see they're nice and thick. And so they won't dig into your shoulders, which I've always had that problem. And they don't like stick your boobs to your chest to where you have some movement and you can breathe, you know? Like I hate when like they're stuck to me and I'm like, oh God, you know, and it's like sweaty and it's just a mess, okay? But I like the color too. And the, the texture and the fabric are really, really nice. These are actually really nice quality. And again, it's padded. So again, if you get cold, you don't have to worry about it, okay? 
Okay, this one is for all my ladies who do like hit workouts and stuff like that, or you know, have a variety of workout days like me, like not every day I run. Um, so if you see, it has these um, straps right here, so you can adjust how tight, and they have them right here on the back too, which is really, really nice. This was really, really smart. And it has a zipper closure, so you can bring it down to tighten it up and you can tighten it on the sides for however your impact is, which is really, really great. So if some days, um, they don't have the cups in here, but it is a really, really thick material, so I wouldn't worry about, you know, obviously getting cold and giving them a show. But I like the fact that you can adjust this for your workouts, you know what I mean? Like, like I said, not every day I run, so I don't have to make it as tight. This was really smart, this was, Man, why don't I think of these things? Um, the color is really pretty too. It's this really nice green. And then the back is open. And then it has nice thick shoulders. Wow. Okay, let's try these on. I'm excited. Here we go. Here is that bra. First off, I love it. I love how, I love the design of it. Got me feeling like a fitness model or something. I'm going to take some pictures, put on some makeup. Anyways, no, I'm just joking. But I like how... It goes lower, so it's like a little bit, like here's my belly button, so how it sits. Love that. I like how it looks on the shoulders. This is really nice, and it fits, like, good. Like, oh, I hate doing this on the, on the thing, but, you know, they in there. But you look cute. Okay, here's the leggings. <sighs> this is going to be a problem, because now I have... I have another pair of high-end leggings. Don't don't trip because I got them on resale shop. But those like high price, like you know the hundred fifty dollar leggings, those are my favorite ones. Okay, because obviously they like make your body look like somebody else's. These are a, a good comparison to that. They are this. First off, they are super stretchy. Okay, and I wore white underwear so you can see because we're gonna do that squat test. I'm gonna do it. But these look really cute I like the way they look and I like how high they sit so I think it's pretty good I don't know I'm digging it here we go we gonna pop lock and drop it nothing look at that and I'm like, like I told you I'm wearing some white underwear you ain't seeing nothing but the, honey that peach is looking like you ain't seeing and I mean I can like stretch and pull them up you see the, the panty line, but that's it. So, um, yeah, they're, they're squat proof. And I just did that on the internet. Okay, let's try on these other sports bras. All right, here is like that. This is the runner's bra, so it has the zipper. Again, look at the shoulder. This is really nice. I'm like a little, a little shocked here. This is really, really nice. And they're in there good. So what I did, I had a sports bra one time that I wore to work that had one of these zippers on it. And honey, let me tell you, I was in the middle of a cold in the ICU, and I was doing stuff, and the zipper came all the way down. The girls just came out. But it has like this string where you go ahead, or this like patch where you, you when you close it down, it locks, and then this goes over it. And it's not too tight either, and it has the nice thick band right here. And you can see it looks pretty good back there. Perfect racer back. I love this. Okay, my hair is gross, but we're gonna talk about that later. All right, I really love this one too. I love the design. I love how controlling this is. Okay, okay, you bet. I'm here for it, honey. I'm here for it. All right, let's try on this last one, the super duper one. Right back. Okay, so here is that third one. This is like the one where you can adjust the. Um, I guess the strength of the bra is what they would call it. I don't know how the impact, the impacts. Okay. So if you, and they tell you, I think it's like one or two. So what happens is it's like, a, it's definitely like a bra hook. And then this is incredibly hard to film just so you know, um, you go ahead and you will stick it into these little loops here, you see, and make it, you know, tighter or whatever. Okay. So like, and it does have some, so, you know, look, I'm a little cold right now, so you would be able to see that. <laughs> and it's definitely covering it up. And then don't forget, on the back, it has the hooks as well. So, I don't know, you see how, like, right here, it has those hooks, too. So, you can tighten it up and make it more, um, 
obviously make your make it a little bit tighter so everything is held in a little bit stronger so definitely able to adjust the impact I definitely like that cutout too I think that's kind of sharp and then it has these really nice thick straps too so it's not like you know digging into you because I freaking hate that because you'll see people too at the gym and they're always like oh ugh. but these ones they sit nice look if you see little white specks on my face I had just did a face mask you know because I'm just trying to live my best life and I guess that's the residue of it but um honestly what my opinions are I would recommend all of them especially you know debating on what your athletic you know interests are if you do a variety I think this would be an awesome choice for you because it's like five like I think it's like three bras and run you know like low impact medium impact high impact so you could adjust it to your needs definitely recommend these leggings I think they're really really nice I love how thin they are but they are very thick so you know I know one's seeing any of the goods no free shows at the gym and I love the zipper part but I love how I love the design too I mean this is nice okay okay I recommend everything dude I, I guess I got nothing else to say these are really really nice everything I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be flexing if you guys were interested in checking out any of the things I went ahead and tried on and all that stuff I'll link everything down below go ahead and check it out um again you know I never tell you guys to get anything that I wouldn't recommend and these are look at my pure fire right now so looking like a, a little workout snack. But um, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get ready. Uh, the kids are all off today, they're off school today, so everybody's home. I'm gonna hit the gym, I need to take a pre-workout. We're gonna do this workout fasted today. Uh, and then I have to stop at the store and get some stuff for dinner. But we're gonna have a really good dinner. My sister's coming today to do my hair, so it's gonna be kinda busy. But it's gonna be fun, you'll see my sister, that'll be good. All right, um, I'll see you guys. This is the pre-workout we're going to use. I had to come and record in the bathroom because my kids are watching Hocus Pocus and they can't find the remote to turn the volume down. So this is the one I'm going to use. This is the essential amino acids or amino energy. Um, I do prefer the Bang. Um, I like this one. It has a really good clean energy, but it does have some carbs in it. I do prefer the Bang because it doesn't have carbs in it. But um, guys, look, I, it's getting expensive. Those are things are like $2 each. So this is, let me show you the macros. So if it would focus, so carbohydrates, two calories, 10 for two scoops. So it's about a carb a scoop. I'm gonna take about um, two or three scoops, I guess, I don't know. But yeah, but it does have um, an amino blend in it, which is great. So I get these at Costco. This flavor is, I've tried all the flavors. This was the one I was using before I started using the Bang. But, um, yeah, so you can, like, if you want something stronger, if you want something not as strong, um, it tells you how many grams of um, aminos you're going to get per serving. So, yeah, it's very, very good. And it helps with muscle recovery and everything because of the branch chain amino acids. So this is the Juicy Strawberry Burst. Again, I've tried all the flavors. I buy mine at Costco. I think they're about 30 bucks. So, all right, let's go make our drink and head to the gym. Okay, I did it. So I finished a whole week. For me guys, I know this might sound like crazy, but I've never actually finished the whole week and like didn't cheat and like didn't uh, keep walking when they said like to run and stuff like that. So it's like, I don't know, it's like a really proud moment for me. Um, I did my back also. I um, did my run first because I didn't know how long uh, um, I was going to have there just because I knew my sister was going to come today. So actually I had to cut that kind of short. So it was a short workout, but I got the run in, which I'm really excited about. I'm like real winded. <laughs> uh, oh, that's my sister right now. She's coming to do my hair. So I have to go home and eat um, before she comes, oops, before she comes by. But um, I will say that now that it's getting cold, I'm definitely feeling a little arthritic in my right knee. So if you guys have ever used like that uh, sports tape, um, Leo calls it rock tape or KT tape, um, whatever. I know Walgreens has a brand of it. Let me know what you guys think. Do you feel like it's better than having the brace? I have a brace, but um, yeah. Oh, this sports bra is the bee's knees, man. I don't know if that's really a term people use anymore, but like it was really holding them in there and like I'm at that part in my monthly cycle to where they're a little, they're a little tender. So, um, it definitely helps with that. All right. I'm going to go, I got to get home, but yes, we killed it. We did it. We came, we saw, we conquered. Hell yes. Let's go eat something. Cause I haven't eaten and I'm a little hungry. All right. Bye.
Okay, let's start for breakfast here. We got this Kirkland mozzarella cheese. This is a shredded one. I know I always tell you guys there is a little bit of potato starch, but we have this and I don't want to waste it. Um, like I said, it is right there. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, I always try to shred my own mozzarella cheeses or any of my cheeses, but again, we have this and I don't want to waste it because, you know, it's not cheap. But we're going to go ahead and just um, do it because, you know, I told you we strict keto, but we lazy. But we're going to have 90 grams. So that is going to be three times the serving, which is 30 grams. So we're looking at 18 fats, three carbs, and 24 protein. So I got my little scale right here. We're just gonna measure it out. Guys, if you don't have a scale, get a scale, I promise. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God, did you see that? So, all right, 91 grams, but we okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna throw on the heat here on medium. And we're gonna make a cheese crisp, crispy cheese. Um, if you guys don't follow Keto Conduct, I really love them. I've been following them a lot on Instagram. I know they also do have a um, YouTube channel. It's a husband and wife team. And they're really great. But she, anyway, she kept making these. And I've seen my friend Amanda over at Keto Ginger. Uh -huh. She does these little cheese crisps too. But um, yeah, so uh, she's been doing it. And I was like, if it's cool for Sandra, it's okay for me. So. Always take inspiration from the community, guys. Keto is such a strong community, and we support each other so much, and I think they're so great. So if you guys happen to come across my channel, I really love you guys. So keep up the good work. So anyway, you're going to go ahead and melt this down until it gets real nice and crispy brown around the edges, and we're going to top it with an egg, and that's what's going to be for breakfast. So let's let this cook. Okay, so you see me drop my egg in here. I'm gonna just top it with a little pan cover lid. <laughs> and I'm gonna lower the heat a little bit because I don't want to overcook it. And we're gonna let this egg cook and then we'll come back. But also, I've been drinking this water. I just see my friend Michelle, you know, Keto Gone Glam. She was talking about the Whole Foods electrolyte water and I love their stuff too. Um, I like the Walmart one as well. This is one and a half liters for about $1.50. Betty, stop. Um, for a dollar fifty, so I was at Whole Foods, so I picked up quite a few of them to have. But yeah, so I've been trying to like lay off the Power Aids and do like the electrolyte water as opposed to the Power Aids. But nonetheless, they real good and they help you get all that nutrition that you need. So I am like shaky because I'm like starving. So let me get my food together so we can eat. So here is breakfast. So basically, it's just a cheese shell with like eggs on the inside, like fried eggs. Kind of like an omelet. I'm gonna kind of show you here so you can see the egg in there. And then you can just, oh snap. Look at that. Now that, my friends, is breakfast. Okay, my friends, we are starting on dinner. We are throwing it in the slow cooker because like I said, my sister's coming, she's gonna do my hair. So what we are going to have today is a pork loin roast. This is roughly about three and a half pounds. You guys can see it. Um, what we do is buy a whole pork loin, pork, pork loin, because we about saving that money, honey. And we take half of it and make, and cut it into like a roast size. And then we take the others and um, we do pork chops with them. So we have the pork roast. And then what we're going to do first is I have some bacon. Bacon. Say it one more time for the people in the back. Bacon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bacon and I'm going to line the bottom of my pan with it, okay? You guys see what I'm doing here? We gonna line it. Never made this recipe before, but I seen it and I said, I'm hungry for that. Pork, because I mean, who doesn't love like pork on pork? Come on. Okay, so I guess if you didn't eat pork, you wouldn't like this. So then we're gonna take the pork roast. If I can get this bag open. I'm 
and we're gonna drop it on top. I'm gonna put the fat side down actually. I'm gonna make sure that this will cover because I wanna wrap, if you guys see, I kinda wanna wrap. Man, this lighting is not cool. All right, sorry about that. We had to adjust because of the lighting. So you know, I see I have the bacon on the bottom. I wanna wrap it just like that, like a little pork present. Okay, so first things first is we are gonna take some extra virgin olive oil and we're going to just give it a little coat, okay? Not too much. I'm gonna take a little one of these and just kind of rub it. Okay, let me just go and rub it. Make sure it's nice and coated, okay? Here we go, beautiful. If you have fresh garlic, go with fresh garlic. I'm gonna use powdered garlic. Give it a nice little coating. Okay. We got some, this is just some sea salt and then some black pepper. Now you might be thinking, oh, okay, that's easy enough. That, that looks okay. You guys haven't seen the real showstopper. You know, you haven't seen how I'm bringing out the guns. We're gonna take one third of a cup, you ready? Brown sugar. Now, if you weren't keto, you can totally make this and use regular brown sugar, but since we keto, we gotta use the swerve. So I went, and you know I don't like buying anything I don't need, but I said that brown sugar sounds so good with that bacon that I need it, and it's gonna be like crystal. I was just so excited for it. So anyways, we're gonna take a third of a cup of that, and we're gonna put it on the top. So now let's start wrapping our bacon around there, okay? And then like when my sister comes over, um, especially when she like does my hair and stuff, I always try to feed her real good. So, you know, just to show appreciation. Right. So what we have is a three and a half pound pork loin roast, seasoned with a little bit of olive oil, a little salt, pepper, and garlic, topped with a third of a cup of swerve brown sugar, and then wraps with, I think 11 or 12 pieces of bacon. So there you go. We're gonna throw our lid on. And we are going to put our crock pot on high for four hours. Actually, let me increase that temperature. Four hours and we are good to go. So that's it. And then for the sides, I'm thinking we're probably gonna do some broccoli. And that's gonna be dinner. But all right, we will check in in a little while. Okay, so here is our roast in here. You guys can see how much water it actually gives off. So that's why I didn't add anything to it because I know some people are gonna be like, you didn't add any water? No, because um, pork shrinks. So it definitely will give off some water. But we are going to let this finish up and I'm gonna actually throw it on a roasting pan. This step is optional, but I think it'll make it even better because I'm gonna throw it in the oven and I'm actually gonna throw it into the broiler part so it like crisps up that bacon to give it like a nice crunch. So we're gonna do that. And then I think we're gonna have some broccoli on the side and I have a lot of macros left because I have yet to eat because um, my sister's making me real pretty today. And um, so I think I might even make some like fathead bread on the side just to have like a biscuit or something like that. Okay, so if you guys are wondering, this is the whole situation right here. So we highlighted, we're root shading, we're gonna tone, we got all these things going on. So yeah, um, I went ahead and I added the actual recipe to my carb manager app. I will show you guys how I do that and we'll go over the macros at the end of the day. I did get my Keto Mojo in the mail. Um, right now, I didn't think we were gonna get it. Let me show you guys. Um, if you guys didn't see like my update, this is what I was talking about. So it comes with a glucometer and also something to test. <laughs> Sorry, I just gave it oh, <laughs> that actually tests your ketone levels. So I went ahead, I tested my ketone levels and I was at a 0.8 that was not fasted. That was after I ate the breakfast and had that, um, <laughs> pre-workout and all that stuff. So it was like a nutritional ketosis, but not in full therapeutic ketosis. So I have some work to do, but we have a starting point and I'm very excited. So I'm gonna do a little bit more research. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really read the directions on kind of how to do it. I just got so excited. I'm like that person where I'm like, let's just see what it says. So um, I'm gonna do more research and kind of see, but I'm excited to kind of, see how we're gonna get into that full-blown ketosis, kind of see how it goes. So if you guys are excited and you wanna see more of like my Keto Mojo journey, 
let me know down below. But all right, uh, we will. I'll I'll show you when I go and put this stuff in the oven. But I just want to check in with you while I'm getting beautified here. But all right, back. All right, so I'm gonna put the oven on broil. This is so I'm gonna do it on high because I want to just get it crispy. So we're gonna set that on high. I went ahead and put my roast on this sheet pan so you guys can see it is cooked all the way through but i want to make the top crispy so we'll throw that in there just watch it um i don't know probably seven or eight minutes or so and i'm gonna steam some broccoli and that'll be our side and we'll do the 90 second bread which will be real easy and yeah so look at that let me show you my hair hold on all right here is my hair all finished got me looking got me looking right here so yeah, make sure you check out my sissy if you're in the Chicagoland area. She did the re-technique, so I'm loving it. But yeah, let's throw this this little beauty here into the oven. We'll get it nice and crispy. We'll start on our broccoli, and yeah, that's gonna be dinner. I'm so excited. Okay, so I have some Laurie's seasoning salt. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of that on my steamed broccoli. I'm only gonna have a little. Um, only me and Leo really eat the broccoli. <laughs> I'll have a little bit, but the kids will mostly just eat the meat. The meat. So I am going to make 90 second bread, and I'm gonna show you, this is my favorite way. It's gonna be like a biscuit, obviously. Um, we're gonna do three tablespoons of some almond flour, a fourth of a teaspoon of some baking soda. We have a tablespoon of melted butter, and one egg. And you just mix it all, and you throw it in the microwave for a little bit over a minute. So yeah, I'm gonna use, uh, get it all together. All right, so that's what our batter is going to look like, and we're just going to toss it in the microwave here for about a minute. We'll be back on that. And then in here, look at that. We're going to go ahead and we're going to pull that roast out. Okay, so I'm going to slice this up into um, 10 pieces, and then we'll start serving everything up. So look at this. We have a full roast meal. We got some a pork loin roast, obviously, just cooked to the tens. This looks like an all day fiasco, but you've seen how quick we were able to do that. We got some steamed broccoli, which is bomb. And then we'll have a fresh homemade biscuit as well. Got, so we were able to achieve all this, go to the gym and still get your hair done all day. You cannot beat that. So I'm going to cut this up and we will see how it all plates up, honey. I am so excited. Again, we're going to cut this into 10 pieces. So that'll equal 10 servings that's how i went ahead and added it to my card manager okay So here is our roast, beautifully cut up. It was a little bit harder to cut with like the bacon on it. Oh, and it's not dry at all. If you guys have ever made a pork loin, you know this can get so dry, okay? And you know I'm not about no dry meat. This stuff is good, real flavorful, real juicy, cooked to perfection, and super duper easy, my friends. So this is looking beautiful. I was actually able to cut it to 12 pieces, so. The macros are going to be a little bit off in our um, macro count um, in our cart manager, but it's okay. It's okay. But yes, honey, looking real good. All right, I'm gonna plate this up and I'll be back. All right, here is my plate. So I got a fresh hot biscuit. Look at how nice and thick and delicious. It's so good. You don't have to add nothing to it. Eat it just like that. Um, that's two ounces of broccoli and then a serving of the roast with a little bit of bacon on top mm hmm what do you guys think hold on <laughs> let me let me focus in on them they're already eating the the meat what do you guys think good. it's so good right a lot of flavor mm -hmm. yeah all right so I'm gonna eat this and then we'll come back we'll check over our macros and kind of see where we are but yeah so we'll come back we'll see how we are but this is one of those easy crock pot meals 
that you just cannot beat a home roast and it's not mushy it's a nice firm roast not dry at all because you know if you cook a roast it does dry out it's so easy low and slow always wins the race when it comes to these roasts and guys that um brown sugar on here with that bacon yes honey yes so yeah look at all that look at all that flavor taking you guys to flavor town <laughs> but all right i'll check in with you guys when i am done all right, so I wanted to go over my macros really quickly with you guys. So if you guys are new here, I use the Carb Manager app. And yeah, so this is what my day is looking like. I am going to make myself a cup of coffee and count that in there. And that's gonna be pretty much it for my day. Um, I always like to have a hot cup of coffee after dinner. I feel like it helps my food digest, I don't know. Let me know if you guys do the same. I and I haven't had any coffee yet today, so. Okay, but anyways, um, back to my carbs. I have 12 net carbs, 15 total, which is great. <laughs> which is great, so like I said, 15 total, 12 net, which is great. Three grams of fiber, 90 fat, and 117 protein. That's a net, a, a grand total of 1361 calories, okay? So, I don't really count the calories, I just count the macros and that leads up to your calories, okay? And this is it too. I know a lot of people say, oh, I gotta, I gotta hit my fats. I eat until I'm full and then, you know, that's it. I'm not gonna keep eating when I'm not hungry to hit certain numbers. This is what it is, okay? So I have on here my amino energy that does have some carbs in it, but you know, that's what I had right now. So it's what I'm gonna use. I got some new pre-workout coming, so hopefully it gets here soon because I love the bangs, but it's just costing me some money. Um, I have the two fried eggs, which you know, you're gonna have some carbs in those. And then the 90 grams, it was 91 grams of the shredded um, mozzarella. So that's three carbs right there. I had one ounce of cooked broccoli. I know I put two, but I only ate one stem. I got really full. The 90 second bread, which I showed you guys, love that. You can add any type of extract to it if you wanna sweeten it. Um, I've done the cake batter, you can do maple. Um, if you have the, uh, which one is it? The cornbread one, you can make it taste like cornbread. I mean, it's, the possibilities are endless and it tastes really, 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 really good. Um, I had two servings of the bacon pork loin. I thought it was really good, so did Leo. Um, I definitely recommend it. And again, I had a busy day, but I still had a like full course meal waiting for my family. So, you know, I didn't miss a beat today, so that's really important to me. And then I'm gonna have um, some half and half of my coffee, and that is two tablespoons. So that is what my day is looking like. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna wrap up today's video. Hopefully this kind of gave you some motivation, some inspiration for some meals. Like if you had family coming and you wanted to make a roast and you didn't want to turn on the oven, or maybe you were getting your hair done and you said, look, I'm still gonna do the damn thing. And you know, throw the roast in the crock pot. That's what I did, see? Possibilities are endless. But um, yeah, thanks for spending the day with me. We had a really great day. Again, I am gonna start using that uh, Keto Mojo. So, um, I said 0.8 today and that was not fasted. It was just, I got it in the mail and I tried it out. So we're gonna kind of see how it goes. Um, we did day three of the Couch to 5K app. We are really just killing it today. I'm very proud of us. So yeah, I'm gonna have my coffee and I'm gonna relax, let my food settle. That was a really good meal. This was generally, um, like I said, today's Monday. This was really like a Sunday meal and I love having like those real like hearty home cooked Sunday meals. And the fact that, oh, you okay? <coughs> Sorry, she's getting over a cold. Um, that we can make it and still carry on with our day. So um, yeah, I thought everything came out really good. So let me know down below if you guys liked the recipe, if it looked like something you might try, all such things. Also, the new workout gear, love it, absolutely. Those leggings were so great, if I was like, I'm definitely gonna have to pick up some more of those because I think that's they're really great for like running and they weren't they were so soft and they weren't like budging or anything like you know sometimes they're too thick and they kind of roll or they get baggy it was none of those issues they were all really really good the bras were perfect they definitely gave me the support that I needed um, and I like the front closure and all that stuff so it's okay but all right so if you guys are new here hey what's up my name is Danielle. I would love for you guys to stick around. 
we do this keto thing, you know, a few times a week, and then we do a little bit of everything else. So anything that is everything in your everyday life, we do cover it here. I would love for you to join our crew. It's a good place to be. We're friends here. We're real friends, and yeah, we just, you know, get along really well. So I would love for you to stick around and join me. Anything down below, I will link the recipe. I will link all the workout clothes. All such things will be down below. Check it out. And yeah, all right, I'm out of here with my new do. I'm about, I'm about to jump out of here. But all right, guys, I love you so much, and I will see y'all on the next one. Take it easy, friends.